Hello guys, welcome to a vlog. It is Wednesday morning and I'm currently at home and I'm waiting to go to the office but I'm waiting for some parcels to arrive and because I'm doing a collaboration with a brand on Saturday so basically I'm going to an event and they're like dressing me and so I'm waiting for the parcel to arrive because if I miss it then I won't have my outfit to wear on Saturday. I was like, when is the event? Saturday. So a little bit, I thought I'm gonna film a little bit of a life update and shortly, you know, what's going on with my life and work. And so we are back to Amsterdam after almost two months in Italy. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know probably what happened. My mom sadly passed away and so I spent uh, almost two months at home with my dad and my sister. I'm not really ready to talk about what happened and I don't even know if I will ever be ready to talk about what happened. But, you know, just that was explaining why we've been away for so long. Um, anyways, we're back in Amsterdam now, but we're planning on, at the moment, staying three weeks here and one week in Italy every month until Emma starts school because um, we have to be here for mainly for like Menno's job. He tried to commute for a while, but it was like very heavy and then he was missing Emma and Emma was missing him and just so that you know, we couldn't do that for like forever. Because in a way for my job, I could really like live anywhere. But anyways, so, and the other reason why we couldn't actually move or stay in Italy longer is just like, we just bought this house like a year ago and it feels a bit of a waste. And uh, so I did a quick, um, a little question and answer on, no, it wasn't a question and answer. I did, I put like a question sticker, you call it on Instagram, uh, and ask what do you want to see on my channel? And it was literally like split into half. I was going through it with my intern on Monday and see like, okay, let's, actually count like how many people wants to see fashion and how many people wants to see like real life vlog and it was like literally like split into half I was like okay so we need I think it's time to introduce this to the YouTube channel so how are we gonna do that so I think that we're gonna keep the fashion videos of course but um, we also gonna introduce more vlogs and um, I can't really do for now two videos a week but we'll see how it goes maybe we do like we keep one video a week but then we do every second week like two videos let's see i'll do my best and the most important for me is that i don't want to like all of a sudden change all the content so um fashion is still gonna be the main subject also because fashion is the my, the, my main job so um, in every vlog I'm still gonna go through my outfits I'm still gonna show you the new in pieces I'm gonna like unbox things and like so basically like I'm gonna try to introduce all the fashion but mix it with the real life in order to keep all the um, fashion content rolling um, I am introducing something new uh, and that is gonna be on my blog. A lot of you ask me about fashion edits, so like, I'll give you examples, like best dresses for like spring weddings or best selection of white t-shirts now for spring, blah blah blah, so, and I love doing that. Uh, so I'm going to introduce a weekly appointment on my blog, so it's nickinsideout.com, I'll leave, I'll leave you a link below, and it's going to be every Friday, and every Friday I'm going to create a selection of all the new pieces that are dropping from my favorite retailers. So basically, mainly like the same brands that you normally see on my channels and that you like, um, but then 
with more pieces, like all the new weekly pieces that are dropping. Because of course, I am also trying to, that's why probably I reduce a little bit the holes on my channel because I'm trying to be more selective on the items that I order online, like all the shopping basically. Like I want to reduce the waste as much as possible. So, and doing a lot of haul every week, at one point to me, it felt a bit of a waste because I end up, some of the pieces are not wearing it or like I wore it once and that I feel is such a big waste for the environment. So um, I thought that that was not working for me anymore at this point. And yeah, so, you know, few new things coming and it is a period of my life that I really need to keep busy and um, it sounds just perfect. <laughs> okay guys, I'm quickly showing you my outfit before I go out. So I've got on a Cezanne dress. It was in my latest Cezanne haul and I believe this was currently sold out on the website but what I did last time and I saw that loads of you appreciated that actually that I linked some very similars in the description box because Cezanne does a lot of these very cute um, summer dresses so I'm just gonna link some very similars uh, down below and you can take a look and what I love about this dress is that is um, long sleeve, so because I'm wearing the cardigan now, you can't really see it, but I think it's just perfect for transitional weather now. And I'm wearing it with Balenciaga cutout uh, boots. I think they're called cutout boots. Now, I got these boots for, I believe it's now three years. I bought these in Paris because they were, at that time, they were so popular that they were sold out everywhere. But I believe that Balenciaga still do this. This is such a classic and this was such a good investment because I wear them basically all year round, especially in spring and autumn because I really like it with dresses and skirts. The cardigan is from American Vintage, another one that I had for at least two seasons and but it's such a classic and I believe again American Vintage still do, do this. I really love having this sort of staples in my wardrobe because I buy it once and then I keep on wearing them for like years and um, so this is the cardigan. Uh, the bag, <clears throat> sorry, the bag is my new Tory Burch. This is like one of my favorite bags that I'm wearing at the moment and I love that I can wear it crossbody, so really nice one. And then uh, sunglasses, sorry. These are like from Chimmy. It's basically my go-to sunglasses. I wear it like basically every day and I do wear sunglasses when it's not sunny as well. It's just like, I think it's like a habit. When I don't have sunglasses, I feel like really naked. And then I'm gonna link down below all my jewelry and you know necklaces ring and bracelet because you know and my pins as well because you know I wear so much jewelry that if every time I have to go through every single piece like I feel that then the vlog is gonna be like 45 minutes <laughs> good morning guys um, I'm working from home today so what am I doing I'm like some emails and um, yeah, I've got like some content that I was waiting to get approved from like some collaborations that I'm working on and it was all approved so that went well and it's done so I just can't wait to post it on my Instagram and show you. And I'm working on my shopping edit that is uh, going live tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, so today is Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow. And uh, that makes me like... Of course, I want to shop and I'm guilty of that, so I did shop a bit <laughs> when I was there. And I just had some lunch and every time that um, I'm working at home after lunch, it makes me like, I want to take a little nap, but then it's never like a 15 minutes nap like I plan. Then I end up like waking up two hours later, so I'm like, okay, that's not going to happen because you know, I'm on top of things and I want to work, so I don't want to be sleepy all afternoon then. So 
So I thought in order to keep myself awake, I'm gonna unbox. I just got this um, another stories parcel and I'm finally gonna unbox my Schnau shopping that I did in London. So I'm gonna grab some scissors. Normally my kitchen have a very good natural light because all of this side is all glass, but today is very miserable, like very, very grey and it's very Amsterdam weather. So, and I didn't want to go upstairs and get the artificial light, so I hope that's okay. And if I turn this on, then we have this like huge uh, yellow light on top of my head, so it's not ideal. So, another story. Huge box because it shoots. So it's two shoes and one top. So one shoe. Hope it's my size. Yeah. And this is the top. So this is me when I really like something. Like I just buy two colors. So, <laughs> this is the shoes from another story. It's like very. It's, also, it's really weird because I used to like literally almost never wear heels while now I wear a lot of heels. So I'm like, what's happening to me? Strappy sandal, very popular this season and they are 100% leather. Um, I order it in my own size, so it's the size 41. I can try them on and tell you how they're fitting. 79 euros, so I think it's quite a good price for like a fully leather uh, pair of shoes. And um, so this is the, all the straps. I think I should try them on so you can understand that they And because I like this so much, and I was, when I saw them on the website, it was like, this is all I want to wear this summer. And uh, so I was so scared that they would sell out in the meantime. So I've ordered two pairs and this is a sort of like orange, but more like more tan. And I think it goes really, really well with white in summer. So I loved this color as well. So I couldn't pick. And I was like, I thought about a couple of days about this and I was like, should I go for the black or for the tan? For blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, I ordered both. So, <laughs> problem solved. And then there's a tank top. This one as well, it came in two colors. Uh, this sort of like off white and also in uh, more of a camel color. Um, so I thought, again, I didn't know what to pick because I like both. So I, I went for the camel. Um, no, sorry, I went for the off-white and this is it. I really liked this uh, square buckle uh, detail and I think this is the sort of tops that now are perfect under blazer but then in summer I would just wear this with like, ideally, I was figuring out the outfit like with this top and high-waisted linen white trousers, something like that. So it's like, yeah, this is the perfect top for summer. And also, it's quite a good price, it's 29 euros. And I just love another story. So I put on one tan and one black. So you can see them both. And I went twice from the kitchen to the living room and back and forth and tried to walk. And they seem to be really comfortable. So I have big hopes in these. I love them. I'm so, seriously, I'm so happy I've ordered both. Because, to be honest, they are the same, but I think they wear in very different ways, like in different outfits. And I also really like them with jeans. Very well done in other stories. I love these. And now I'm going to show you the Chanel. I think in the meantime, 
I don't know what's going on, it's like thunderstorm weather, so I'm going to have to switch on this light, I hope it's not too bad. I'm really excited about this, it felt like a real splurge. <laughs> When I say these things, I, I kind of have this feeling that if I don't get it, then I won't find them anymore. Like, you know, like, I can't have second thought when I'm in the shop. It's just like a hit or miss, they say that. That if you don't buy it when you're there, you're never going to find them again. Uh, so we went to Bond Street. Uh, to the Bond Street um, Chanel store, they didn't have the color I was after, so they had one pair in the Brompton Road new Chanel store, so and so they could put it on hold for like half an hour, so we jumped on a cab, we went there, this is like the whole afternoon, it was about the shoes, and um, when we got there, they had the color that I wanted, but in a different style, and I was like, it's not these. And then, I don't know, we kind of like ask again, it's like, yeah, but in Bond Street they said that you did have it. So in the end, they went back to the stockroom to check and they had it. So at that point, you can't say no anymore. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, let's open it. Chanel sling bag. I bought a 41 and they were like really true to size. These ones I had to go for a 41 and a half. I think I never bought in my life a 31 and a half but okay so you might if you're thinking of buying these and if you can find them finger crossed um, you have to size up a bit. Um, so I, I, I went <laughs> I went for the black and white, I was really like after this and for a second I almost doubted the heel but because and I was gonna go for the like completely flat but when I walked in those in the, in the store it felt a bit awkward, I don't know they were not really comfortable and uh, Lorna was with me and she really like told me off the flat ones, it's like, oh, they just look like poolside shoes, blah, blah, this, and actually I'm really happy I went for this because I can, you know, wear these with jeans, but I can also dress them up with a more elegant outfit, so really love them, I'm going to try them on quickly and show you. So, this is it, this is them, very summer, it's literally like too early to wear these in um, Amsterdam, yeah. I spend most of my summer in Italy uh, and we're gonna go to the south of France as well. So I think I was in the beginning, I was like, okay, they are very expensive for sandals, especially because I live in Amsterdam and it's not real summer. Do you know what I mean? But then I thought, but actually, in summertime, we spend a lot of time in Italy and, as I said, we're going to the south of France as well. So I thought, I'm going to wear these a lot. And so I'm really, really happy. They're very comfortable. I'm happy I sized up because, actually, I did need a um, little bit extra space. And they come with this little plastic bag, which I think that, again, I'm going to wear a lot like poolside and like just for like your beach and pool essentials I think it is really cute which <laughs> doesn't really make sense like now that I'm wearing a knit but yeah just to give you the idea <laughs> hello it's now Saturday afternoon and 
I'm off to the Cecil Copenhagen um, event opening at the Bayernkorf in Amsterdam and so I'm wearing Cecil Copenhagen shorts now it's funny because it looks sunny now but it's actually really cold this morning we went out and the car was saying like 8 degrees but I already picked this outfit like I think 2-3 weeks ago and I thought like yeah it's gonna be May and the shorts is gonna be fine so I kind of had to adjust the outfit to the weather, so that's why I'm wearing my Isabel Moran boots. The blazer is from the Lorna Lux collection for in the style. I love it because it's very long, so I sized up to a size 12 and this can actually be a blazer dress, which I love for the summer. So like this. If you are very brave and you don't mind to go with the mini skirt, this can be a blazer dress, but I'm gonna wear it open today with the shorts. And this is another Stories white t-shirt. The pin is from Stories and like all my usual like loads of jewelry that I'm gonna link down below and the old tote. And I'm gonna wear, um, what am I saying? Like it's not the old tote, the old saddlebag. And um, because the event is in the city center, so we're gonna do a little bit of walking. And I'm, I'm really scared that I'm gonna freeze. So I'm gonna put a long trench coat on top and I hope I'll survive. And this is the finished look with the trench coat. It's a very classic Another Stories trench coat that I have since last year, but I believe it's still on the website. This is like that kind of classics that you buy once and never really goes out of style. There's a belt as well, there's pockets, and it's open now, but I might like belt it up when I'm outside and at least uh, in the cold, my legs are all covered, so that should be fine. And I'm not taking my camera with me because I'm gonna do probably, most probably like Instagram stories when I'm at the event. And um, yeah, we're just gonna be out a couple of hours. Menos mom is here to babysit Emma while we are at the event. And uh, and that's it, that's our Saturday. I'm gonna close the vlog, the weekly vlog here. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you all having a very good weekend. Let me know if you like this type of vlog in between like the fashion hauls so I can show you a little bit more of my life and uh, I'll see you next Tuesday with the next video. Bye!